Hi, uh, I'm Will Shipley, and I'm the chief monster of Delicious Monster Software. And uh, we write Delicious Library, which is program catalog, all your stuff, your physical stuff. So, uh, what got you guys to decide to uh, make Delicious uh, Monster? Well, we, we looked around when we started the company back in, in 2004. We actually looked around at, um, at what people were doing at the freeware that was out there and the shareware. And we wanted to know, you know, like, sort of, what are people doing that's, that, that, that isn't being done very well? And so it was neat, because rather than having to come up with some brand new crazy idea, we, we looked and we said, you know, there's a lot of programs for cataloging this or cataloging that, but we didn't like any of them. And we said, we could do a better job of this. And, and that was our original idea, was like, we can do this better. Um, and, you know, and it's something I've wanted all my life. You know, my very first program when I was 15, well, not first, but... My first really big program was was a catalog for all my like floppiness on my Apple II, uh, and you know I think everybody's wanted to catalog something at some time in their life. So it's it's there's something in us that wants to catalog, and we we just made it easy and fun. So you guys allow for categorizing of books, uh, CDs, DVDs. Are there any uh, other pro uh, items that people are able to catalog now with uh, your your product? Yeah, with 2.0 we added oh man we added like five more categories and I can't even remember them all. Uh, we had toys, which some people are like, well, I don't have toys. And I'm like, well, maybe you do, because toys includes board games and things like that. So if you have Settlers of Catan, you know, that's, you can, you can catalog that now. Um, uh, we added gadgets, which includes, like, you know, anything like any electronics. If you have a stereo, if you have a camera, if you have uh, an iPod, if you have computers. And that's really nice, because, you know, if your stuff gets stolen, you've got record for insurance. It's also nice because if you loan out, you know, your camera to somebody or something, high ticket, you really want to make sure you get it back. Uh, we have apparel now, so you can actually catalog your clothes. We have tools, so you can catalog your screwdrivers and your, your cordless drills and all that. Um, I think that's it. Is that five? Is that four? I don't even know. Close. It was, I think it was actually more. Okay. But uh, one question is, there. I see that there are other products that do this. What about comic books? Yeah, so right now we only, we, I mean, you can do trade paperbacks just fine. Um, we don't do a really good job on most individual issues because they weren't, they didn't have the kind of barcodes we liked. Um, and there are some third-party databases you can use that are starting to, you know, some other parts are starting to hit. Um, for us, it was kind of like, we, we had so many features we were adding 2.0, we didn't really have time to say, let's hit a bunch of different databases. And so we limited ourselves in 2.0 to just what's uh, available on Amazon. Um, which is, you know, a ton of products, but not individual comics. They don't sell those. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something that, you know, definitely, it's it's the number one request that we haven't fulfilled. And 2.0, we took care of our top, you know, five requests from users that we didn't take care of. Now, so you're able to uh, use the EyeSight camera as well as uh, an infrared uh, uh, barcode reader to it's, get the product information. It's actually a laser, yeah. But, so it's a laser uh, yeah, it's reader. it's a real laser. Um, what kind of uh, other little gadgets and tricks are you looking at? Like, I know you now have a, uh, supposedly you have a, in works, or if, if it's already come out, a iPhone application. Is that true? The first iPhone application is going to be out a little bit, and it's actually just going to be a reader. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to take your library that you have on your Mac and then allow you to view it on your iPhone very quickly. Mm -hmm. So you'll load it onto your iPhone ahead of time, and then it'll just be ready to go whenever, you, you know, wherever you are, it'll be right there. Um, but it'll be read only on the iPhone. And then I'll be I'll be I'll be coming out with two other apps on the iPhone. And you know, and so there'll be this family of apps that you know focused apps. Because not everybody wanna do everything, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna keep them very tight and very small. So but the first one is, is just a reader. Um, and there may be a way in the future to to scan in items and from the iPhone. But, but not till you have a macro lens or something like that, right? No, I can do it without a macro because I can do really? I can do fuzzy uh, okay. because the, the webcam on the built-in iSight webcams actually don't have really much better camera than it's what's on an iPhone. Okay. So I already wrote that code actually for the library version 1.6. We went back and rewrote our whole barcode scanner so that it works with fuzzy cameras. And so it works with iPhones too. So uh, is it? I heard the story that you guys uh, started writing the code for this product. Uh, in a Seattle coffee house of all places, and yeah. didn't actually have actual offices for a good year to two years. We don't have offices still. Really? No, we are still in the same coffee house. Uh, it's been since March 2004 uh, that we work there. It's really great. I mean, they love us. You must really love coffee. Well, no, I mean, it's just it just got to the point where I realized I like being around people. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, it's, it's kind of lonely to work in an office and see the same five people every day. Um, I realize I like the, the power structure in there where, you know, I'm working side by side with, you know, the, the newest employee, the oldest employee, the, the middle level. We're all at the same table. We're just sitting around a table together working. And anybody can raise a question and say, hey, you know, what about this? What are we doing here? It's not, I'm not off in my office in the corner and a door and they're off in theirs. And it's, and there's so much better communication throughout the company. There's no levels of management. And there's no status. There's no fighting for a better chair. You know, we're all sitting in the same damn chairs. We're all at the same tables. And we all have the same food. And we all have the same washrooms. And for me, it's, it's I don't know, it feels better. So I'm guessing uh, you guys have your own private booth. Booth, much more like uh, mafiosos in New Jersey or something like that. We used to have a table that, that we get really grumpy if people took. Uh, they, they, they rearranged the whole cafe and I was like, Mer. but <laughs> there was one where I'd be like, hey, it's my table. But so, there's nothing official. So if you're not drinking coffee at this coffee shop while working, what is your drink of choice? Uh, well, I start with a couple like lattes, but then I quickly, like, caffeine gets to me. And, uh, and then I just drink herbal ice tea for the rest of the day. I stay extremely well hydrated, I gotta tell you. I hear that. It's very healthy. So, uh, are there any plans or uh, like future, you know, features that you can talk about, or do you want to like keep them secret so you finally release them? Well, the iPhone integration thing is going to be what's coming for the next little while, um, and and the neat thing about it is it's going to be uh, it's it's going to be in the current version of Delicious Library. So I'm not going to charge people for a new version of Delicious Library that works with the iPhone. Although I might charge for some of the iPhone apps. The first one will be free. And the Delicious Library will be free, so it's like, if you own current Delicious Library too, or you buy it today, uh, you will get a free upgrade to the iPhone thing, which I think is nice, because it's just free beer. Just now, are you, features. are you going to be using the new uh, promo code feature system that uh, Apple has for the iPhone apps to do that? No, I'm just going to have it be free. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just, just free, free. Because you can download it, and you can just use it, you know, essentially in demo mode. If you don't own Delicious Library, it will just be a demo app, so...